DC Comics brings us Deathstroke Annual Number One, where Deathstroke is going to be fighting off some supernatural beings with this awesome new weapon he has in the God Slayer storyline. But we also get an appearance from Superman and Wonder Woman. Wonder what side they're going to fall on. From Marvel Comics, we have Star Wars Number Seven. This is a one-off tale about Ben Kenobi, and I cannot be more excited. The writing for this book has been fantastic so far. I like that they're giving respect to the original trilogy. They're keeping these characters exactly the way they should be, but fleshing them out just that much more. It's an amazing read. It's been awesome. I love Star Wars. This Wednesday brings Batgirl number 42. Batgirl is barely holding her own against Batman when all of a sudden Livewire decides to join the fray. And what happens when she wants to take both of them out? Devil's Due Entertainment brings us Scorriers number three. Russell and Spin follow Eli to see on the secret little meeting with the Maw. And then we also have, while they're doing that, King is setting up his tribe for possible invasion. If you like squirrels with swords, check it out. From DC Comics, we have JLA Gods and Monsters Superman. It's a very different take on Superman. It's based upon the DC animated film Gods and Monsters. It just came out this Tuesday on Blu-ray, so you want to check that out. I did. It's amazing. That's why I'm getting this book. Robin, Son of Batman number two is out. Meet the rivals of the powerful and great Al Ghul's. And what is Dragonhead? Kenzer and Company brings us Knights of the Dinner Table, issue 222, 222. They've been bringing us a lot of awesome for a long time. Now this is a book, if anybody else reads it, it's basically they make fun of Dungeons and Dragons and role playing games in general about this small little group of role players and it's just like a comic strip sequence. So you get different short stories throughout the whole book. It's pretty awesome. But my reason to get this one is because of the cover alone. It takes us back to 1980s with the old D&D &D cartoon with Venger and Tiamat, Dungeon Master, and all the other awesome characters that were in the cartoon. So, you know, pick that one up. Superman 42 is out this week also. It is the true storyline. It's still going on. Has Lois Lane betrayed Superman? truth? Find out. This book is completely epic and I can't miss it. Red Sonja number 17 comes out. So this continues the forgiveness of monster storyline where Red Sonja becomes so engrossed with her quest for revenge that she almost loses herself. But what happens when she finally meets the man who almost destroyed her life? Marvel brings a 1602 Witch Hunter Angela number two. In this story, we have Angela and Sarah are chasing down the Faustians, but while they're doing that, they run across this company of performers that have something to do with guarding and galaxies. It's very strange, but I'm looking forward to it. Ghostbusters Get Real number two from IDW Publishing. Everybody's real now. They all meet. You know, you got the people in the brown suits, the gray suits, the lavender suits, you know, how they did all those crazy colors in the 80s cartoon. This is a really, really awesome story. I love the writing. I love the direction. I love Ghostbusters. If you love Ghostbusters, you have to read this book. Jim and the Holograms number five comes out. A disaster after the Holograms' first live show nearly ends Jim's career before it even begins. And Kimber finds out about the accident and now wants revenge. As everybody knows, I'm a huge fan of Star Wars, and Marvel's bringing us Star Wars number seven this week. And in this one, it's a one-shot story of Obi-Wan Kenobi before New Hope and be after the whole Revenge of the Sith storyline. And it's a one-shot Obi-Wan Kenobi story. What's not to love about that? Help us, great warrior number six from Boom Studios. This is the final final issue of this series and it has been crazy i have enjoyed it from issue one it's a quick read it's only six issues do yourself a favor pick them all up i'm not spoiling anything just read it sex criminals number 11 comes out now this book is about two people that have a special gift when they get it on time stops but all of a sudden they realize they're not alone. This issue's special because one of the bagged issues has $1,000 in it. 